Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to make a quick video while I'm here waiting to pick up my son. I wanted to make this video because I've been contacting some people um, that have tested with Ancestry or 2-3ME or whatever DNA site that they've tested with to help other people like myself that are adopted to find their families. And so I have been noticing lately that some people have been very... Um, not open to figuring out how they're related to some of these matches. And I've also have had a bunch of um, different people even respond with like, oh, this isn't real. This DNA thing is just pulling, you know, random matches out and just saying that you're related to them. Some people have been um, disappointed because they might be finding out their mom's not their mom, their dad's not their dad, their sibling or aunt or uncle is not related to them. And so then they start inventing these stories in their head stating, oh, well, this test must be wrong. They messed up because I know my dad is my dad or my aunt is my aunt or whatever the case may be. And unfortunately, DNA doesn't lie. And I know it's sad to find out that you're You've basically been living a lie if you're finding out information that you didn't know. Um, so I wanted to point out that this DNA thing is extremely real. No matter who you test with, whether it's FTDNA, 2-3ME, Ancestry, MyHeritage. Um, I'm sure there's more sites out there now that I don't even know the names of because more and more companies are coming out with these DNA tests. This is a very real thing. And to prove to you that it's a real thing... The FBI caught the Golden State Killer from California that was committing rapes and murders and burglaries back in the late 70s all the way to the late 80s. They never caught him. They've been searching for him for years. Um, obviously, back in the 70s, the DNA was a little bit different, so they didn't have the technology they have now. But they did hold this man's DNA on file, and for years they've been searching for this man, and they've never found him because although he was a criminal, he was never caught doing anything um, where he had to submit any DNA. So therefore his DNA was never in the system. So one of the investigators, after being frustrated for all these years, decided, you know, I'm going to go on GEDmatch, which is a third party website, which you've heard me speak about before. If you're an adoptee to upload to there, it's a free website. You can upload your raw DNA from any of the DNA sites that you tested with, and it will help you to locate family members or figure out your genealogy. And so this investigator decided to use his family's DNA, um, not use his family's DNA, but um, basically one of his family members had done these tests. Um, they uploaded to GEDmatch, so he decided to teach himself through his family member's DNA on how to navigate through the site, how to find um, related matches, and so forth. And once he figured that out, he decided to try to find the, um, the Golden State Killer to see if he had any family members that ever tested on GEDmatch and uploaded their raw DNA. Now, Ancestry, 2-3ME, and the other websites, they have a privacy clause. Um, if you want to read up on it, you, should, you can go research it because I couldn't tell you what it says because for me, I personally am not, like, I don't care. I understand people like, oh, your information's out there. I really don't care. I wouldn't do the test if I cared. I just want to find my family and I have nothing to hide. So for me, it doesn't really bother me. But when it comes to GEDmatch, they have their own privacy clause, but it's basically a public website and you're, they let you know before you sign up that it is a public database and people can see your matches. Now, they can't see your actual DNA and they have no access to like your chromosomes or anything like that. Um, but if they have your kit number, if anyone has your kit number or you match somebody, um, you can pull up their kit number. Like, you can definitely see who you, who you or those people are related to. So that being said, apparently the Golden State Killer, which they had the DNA back from the 70s, he had a distant cousin test that also uploaded onto GEDmatch and they got a hit. I think he was a third or fourth cousin. I'm not 100% sure, but they found, you know, one of his third or fourth cousins. They started doing their own genealogy, possibly reached out to genealogists. I don't know exactly how they were able to figure it out, but a third or fourth cousin, people are like, oh, that's so far away. It's really not that far away. So my point is, is that if the FBI used GEDmatch to find the Golden State Killer, which I think is awesome, <laughs> personally, obviously, 
the DNA sites are 100% real. There's no flaw. There's no make. There's like nothing is being made up. They didn't mistakenly not match you to your parents or your grandparents or whoever it is that you're thinking they made a mistake with. It's a real thing. So I just wanted to share that and let people know that are doubting this whole DNA thing that it is 100% real. The DNA doesn't lie. Now the police are using it to help find criminals. And some people are having a problem with this saying, oh, I mean, my, you know, DNA is not, you know, it's not private or whatever. I mean, technically it is private, but at the same time, I'm happy that they they call the Golden State Killer and I'm hoping they're going to catch a lot more rapists and serial killers and whatever through DNA, through people, through their family members that have tested. I think that's an awesome thing that they're doing, even though a lot of people will not agree with it. I think it's great keep our streets safer and yeah so I just want to let you guys know that DNA is real you should do the test if you want to find out where you come from if you want to find your family and just know you have to be prepared if you're just doing this and you're not adopted and you've had a great life or whatever you grew up with your family and you just wanted to see how much European you had or African or whatever just know that something might show that your family might not be your family or half your family might not be your family or I don't know. I even heard of a case where some, um, I think it was a girl, I can't remember who told me the story or where I heard it from because again, I help so many people, but apparently this girl was raised by her mom and her stepdad. She did the DNA test and lo and behold, she found out her stepdad was really her biological dad. Which is crazy because you normally don't hear that. Normally it's, oh, I tested and I found out my biological dad was not my real dad. So that was a kind of cool story for her. Although it was very confusing to her and the stepfather who thought he was a stepfather because it was the real father. But my point is, is that, you know, there's some secrets in some families that either the, parent, the mother or whoever might know. And there's some secrets that they might not know because they thought one thing and it was something else. So just be open-minded if you're going to test with Ancestry DNA or 2-3ME or, uh, or any of the other DNA sites and just know that it is real and you might find some surprises. Some you might like, some you may not. I don't know. But um, make sure you're following my channel. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a DNA Ancestry test. So make sure you're following me. Please like this video. You can share it and I'll talk to you guys later.